So, you want to randomize Elden Ring. Here's the things you're going to need. You'll find the latest version of Mod Engine within the description of the mod itself. Scroll down to 2A or so, find this link right here, click on that, open up Assets, find Mod Engine, click on that one, we're good. Go to Files on the Mod Entry itself, go to Manual Download, and then to Slow Download. Great. Now go to your Downloads folder, find the Mod Engine zip file, unpack that to the destination of your choice, open up the Randomizer zip file, and extract that into the Mod Engine folder. I'm just going to jump ahead a little bit. Before we get any further, we're going to back up our save file. You can find this by going to your user, app data roaming. In case you forgot your user, you can click on local disk, users. You find your username right there. Um, then you can edit up here, post in app data roaming Elden Ring, or in case you don't make it that far, um, find your user, find app data, find roaming, find Elden Ring. You'll see a nice spaghetti string of numbers up here. That's your save file. We're going to make a new folder to keep that in. We're just going to call this, oh, I don't know, super backup folder. Drag and drop this bad boy into that folder. Now our old save is nice and snug. We will double back now to the randomizer itself. Find the randomizer folder and open up Elden Ring randomizer. If Windows protests about it, it's fine. Click on more info and then run anyways. Here is the main GUI interface for the randomizer. Check whichever options you like. I'm just clicking a few at random here. Um, you can also adjust the bias slider up top to adjust how it distributes items. That's fine. We'll have to point it towards where the game executable lives. Um, I've done this once before. In case you forgot where it lives, you can open up Steam, go to Manage, Browse Local Files. This will take you over to your installation location. From here, you'll just uh, open up the game folder. You'll find it right there. You can click on the, uh, the file path up top, copy paste it up here, get to Elden Ring, you're good to go. Before you click on Randomize Root New Run, make sure that your output files for UXM is unchecked. This makes it compatible with Mod Engine. When that's all set, click on Run. Now, in case this happens to get an angry red bar, that's fine, not all seeds work. Uh, just click on Randomize New Run again. It'll do its thing. Green is good. That means our mod is ready. Now, we have to tell Mod Engine where this mod lives. So we're going to go back to the Mod Engine folder here real quick. Find Config Elden Ring. Edit that with our text editor of choice. And find this line here. Change path equals to randomizer. Save this. We're good to go. Now all we have to do is use launch mod Elden Ring .bat. Windows may once again say, hey, this is a funny file. That's fine. You can just uh, click more information and then run anyways, and it will launch Elden Ring. You'll have to accept the uh, privacy policy and whatnot again anyways. It'll tell you that um, inappropriate activity is detected. This is fine. That just means easy anti cheat is off and you're playing offline. Accept whatever options you want. And then finally, you get to choose a player base. This will tell you whether or not your randomizer is working. For example, we're just going to choose astrology here. This is not astrologer equipment. This is wildly different from what we're used to. This means that the randomizer is working. With that, you should be good to go to begin experiencing the world of Elden Ring with all the items, including key items randomized. Good luck out there, Tarnished.